Welcome to my channel, subscribe or dale like if you like. Today we will explain about the active principle ciprofloxacin, its side effects, dosage, contraindications, warnings, mechanism of action, pregnancy, breastfeeding and much more. What is ciprofloxacin? Ciprofloxacin is an antibiotic medication used for the treatment of lower respiratory tract infection by gram. The brand names of ciprofloxacin are, Cipro, Cipro IV, Ciprocystitis Pack, Cipro XR, Araxacin, Basip, Keprimax, Cetraxil, Ciproactin, Ciproctyl, Cunesin, Dorman, Estechina, Felixine, Globus, Pipril, Rigoran, Samson, Ultramycin. Mechanism of Action of Ciprofloxacin As an antibacterial agent belonging to the group of fluoroquinolones, the bactericidal action of ciprofloxacin is due to the inhibition of both type 2 toposomerase, DNA gerase, and type 4 toposomerase, necessary for the replication, transcription, repair and recombination of bacterial DNA. Therapeutic Indications of Ciprofloxacin Post-exposure prophylaxis and curative treatment of inhalational anthrax In adults Lower respiratory tract infection by gram, exacerbation of COPD, bronchopulmonary infection and cystic fibrosis or in bronchiectasis, pneumonia, chronic suppurative and malignant external otitis media. Acute exacerbation of chronic sinusitis, gram, urinary infections, urethritis and gonococcal cervicitis caused by ingonorrhea, or chiepidindimitis input, including those caused by ingonorrhea gastrointestinal, e.g., traveler's diarrhea, intra-abdominal, skin and soft tissue, gram, bone and joint infections. Treatment and prophylaxis of infections in patients with neutropenia prophylaxis of invasive and meningitis infections. In children and adolescents. Bronchopulmonary infections and cystic fibrosis by pyruginosa, complicated urinary tract, pyelonephritis and severe infections when necessary. Pregnancy and ciprofloxacin. Available data on pregnant women show no toxicity. Animal studies show no harmful effects. In juvenile and prenatal animals exposed to quinolones, effects on immature cartilage cannot be excluded. Avoid. Lactation and ciprofloxacin. Ciprofloxacin is excreted in breast milk. Because of the possible risk of joint damage. Ciprofloxacin should not be used during breastfeeding. Effects on driving ability with ciprofloxacin. Due to its neurological effects, ciprofloxacin may affect reaction time. Therefore, the ability to drive or use machines may be impaired. Side effects and adverse reactions of ciprofloxacin. Nausea, diarrhea. Also intravenous, vomiting, reactions at the site of perfusion. Transient increase in transaminases, skin rash. In children, arthropathy also occurs frequently. Pathology of ciprofloxacin. Slow infusion 60 minutes, 400 mg, 2 to 3 times a day. Oral. The duration of the treatments includes the possible start of the fourth. Adults. Lower respiratory tract infection by gram, exacerbation of COPD. Bronchopulmonary infection and cystic fibrosis or in bronchiectasis, pneumonia, 500 to 750 mg, 2 times a day, 7 to 14 days. Acute exacerbation of chronic sinusitis and chronic suppurative otitis media, 500 to 750 mg, twice a day, 7 to 14 days. Malignant otitis externa, 750 mg, twice daily. 28 days to 3 months. Uncomplicated cystitis, 250 to 500 mg, 2 times a day, 3 days. In premenopause a single dose of 500 mg can be administered. Complicated cystitis, uncomplicated pyelonephritis, 500 mg, 2 times per day, for 7 days. Complicated pyelonephritis, 500 to 750 mg. 2 times per day, minimum 10 days, more than 21 days in specific cases such as abscesses. Prostatitis, 500 to 750 mg, 2 times per day, 2 to 4 weeks, 
acute, and 4 to 6 weeks chronic. Urethritis and gonococcal cervicitis sensitive to fluoroquinolones, single dose 500 mg. Orchiepidindimitis input, 500 to 750 mg, 2 times daily, minimum 14 days. Gastrointestinal infection, 500 mg, 2 times a day. Duration of treatment, 1 day in bacterial diarrhea, including Shigella SPP. Other than Shigella dysentery I type 1 and empirical treatment of severe traveler's diarrhea, 5 days in diarrhea caused by Shigella dysentery I type 1, 3 days in that caused by Vibrio cholerae, 7 days in typhoid fever. Intra-abdominal gram infection, 500 to 750 mg, twice a day, 5 to 14 days. Skin and soft tissue infection, 500 to 750 mg, 2 times a day, 7 to 14 days. Bone and joint infection, 500 to 750 mg, 2 times a day, maximum 3 months. Treatment and prophylaxis of infections in patients with neutropenia, co-administered with appropriate antibacterial according to official recommendations, 500 to 750 mg two times per day, during neutropenia. Prophylaxis of invasive infection by in meningitis, single dose 500 mg. Post-exposure prophylaxis and curative treatment of inhalational anthrax oral, single dose 500 mg or 500 mg twice daily, intravenous, 400 mg, twice daily, switch to oral route as soon as possible. Administer as soon as suspected or confirmed. 60 days from confirmation. Children and adolescents. Bronchopulmonary infection and cystic fibrosis by pyruginosa, 20 mg slash kg, 2 times a day, maximum 750 mg dose, 10 to 14 days. Intravenous, 60 minutes infusion, 10 mg slash kg slash every 8 hours, maximum 400 mg dose. Sequential therapy may be used. Complicated urinary tract infection, pyelonephritis, 10 to 20 mg slash kg, twice daily, maximum 750 mg slash dose, 10 to 21 days. Intravenous, 6 to 10 mg slash kg slash each 8 hours, maximum 400 mg dose. Other serious infections, 20 mg slash kg, 2 times per day, maximum 750 mg dose. Duration of treatment according to type of infection. Intravenous 10 mg slash kg slash every 8 hours, maximum 400 mg dose. Post-exposure prophylaxis and curative treatment of anthrax by inhalation. Oral, 10 to 15 mg slash kg, twice a day, maximum 500 mg dose. Intravenous same dose, maximum 400 mg dose. Switch to oral route as soon as possible. Administer as soon as suspected or confirmed, 60 days from confirmation. Some infections may require the association of another suitable antibacterial, such as those caused by Pseudomonas aeruginosa, Acinetobacter or Staphylococcus bacteria, and intra-abdominal, skin and soft tissue infections in subjects with neutropenia or PID. Mode of administration of ciprofloxacin. In oral administration, it can be taken independently of mealtimes. The tablets should be ingested whole without chewing and with liquid. If taken on an empty stomach, it is absorbed more quickly. It should not be taken with milk products, for example milk or yogurt, or with fruit juice enriched with minerals, for example orange juice enriched with CA. Dietary calcium does not significantly affect the absorption of ciprofloxacin. In severe cases or if the patient is unable to take tablets, for example patients on enteric nutrition, start intravenous treatment, until the change to oral administration is possible. Contraindications with ciprofloxacin Hypersensitivity to quinolones, do not administer with tizanidine. Warnings and precautions with ciprofloxacin Renal failure adjust dose, avoid in patients who have previously experienced serious adverse reactions with the use of drugs containing quinolones or fluoroquinolones, associate with appropriate antibacterial and treatment of, severe infections, caused by Gran Plus, anaerobes or and gonorrhea.
not recommended in streptococcal infections, insufficient efficacy, limited efficacy data in post-surgical intra-abdominal infection, in traveler's diarrhea, consult information on ciprofloxus and resistance of relevant pathogens in the countries visited, inhalational anthrax, consult national or international consensus documents on its treatment, in children and adolescents evaluate benefit and risk for possible adverse effects on joints or surrounding tissues. Bronchopulmonary infection and cystic fibrosis in children aged 1 to 5 years, limited experience, according to official recommendations its use to treat other serious infections may be justified after assessing benefits slash risk, if other treatments cannot be used or if conventional treatment fails, always after microbiological testing, caution advisable, risk of, hypersensitivity, tendonitis and tendon rupture greater risk in the elderly or in concomitant treatment with corticosteroids, stop treatment at any sign of tendinitis, painful swelling, inflammation, and keep the affected limb at rest. Do not administer in case of, history of tendon disease or disorder related to quinolone treatment, caution in, myasthenia gravis, CNS disorders predisposing to seizures, torsade de point type arrhythmia, discontinue treatment in case of, hypersensitivity possible high-risk anaphylactic reaction, signs of tendinopathy, increased risk in the elderly or in those treated with corticosteroids, and possible for up to several months after discontinuation of treatment, seizures, psychiatric reactions, symptoms of neuropathy, antibiotic-associated colitis, can be life-threatening, possibly resulting in death, signs of liver disease, described as liver necrosis and liver failure with risk of death. Cases of polyneuropathy have been reported, monitor hydration and avoid excess urine alkalinity, described as crystalluria, avoid sun exposure and UV radiation during treatment, consult an ophthalmologist if vision deteriorates, avoid family history or G6PDH deficit due to risk of hemolysis, assess benefit and risk and monitor, risk of resistance and prolonged treatment, concomitants with, theophylline, clozapine, ropinirole. Tizanidine, clinical monitoring by increasing their concentrations, control of theophylline and adjusting doses. Not recommended in concomitant treatment with methotrexate, do not prescribe quinolones or fluoroquinolones for treatment of self-limited or mild infections, such as pharyngitis, tonsillitis and acute bronchitis, prophylaxis of traveler's diarrhea or recurrent lower urinary tract infections non-bacterial infections or for mild to moderate infections, including uncomplicated cystitis, acute exacerbations of chronic bronchitis and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, acute bacterial rhinosinusitis and acute otitis media, unless other commonly recommended antibiotics for these infections are considered inappropriate or should be prescribed to patients with a history of serious adverse reactions following the administration of these types of antibiotics. Increased risk of tendon injury following administration of quinolones and fluoroquinolones in the elderly, transplant recipients or patients on steroid therapy, discontinuation of treatment in case of symptoms affecting the musculoskeletal system, tendinitis, tendon rupture, myalgia, muscle weakness, arthralgia and joint edema, or the nervous system, peripheral neuropathy, psychosis, anxiety, insomnia, depression, hallucinations autolytic thoughts, confusion, impaired hearing or vision, or impaired senses of taste and smell, increased risk of aortic aneurysm and dissection, especially in the elderly. Assess risk and benefit in, patients with a family history of aneurysm, diagnosed with pre-existing aortic aneurysm or aortic dissection, or in the presence of other risk factors or disorders that predispose to aortic aneurysm and dissection, Marfan syndrome, Ehlers-Danlos vascular syndrome. Takayasu arteritis, giant cell arteritis, Bechet's disease, hypertension, known atherosclerosis. Monitor blood glucose for risk of hypoglycemia, hyperglycemia, and diabetic coma. Usually in diabetic patients receiving concomitant treatment with an oral hypoglycemic, e.g., glibanclamide, or insulin. Very rare cases of severe disabling adverse reactions, of prolonged duration persistent for months or years, and potentially irreversible, affecting different and sometimes multiple body systems, musculoskeletal, nervous, 
psychiatric and sensory, have been reported in patients receiving quinolones and fluoroquinolones, regardless of their age and pre-existing risk factors, stop treatment if they appear. Cases of sensory or sensory motor polyneuropathy resulting in paresthesia, hypesthesia, dysthesia or weakness have been reported in patients treated with quinolones and fluoroquinolones. Renal failure and ciprofloxacin. Caution. A just dose, not studied in children with kidney failure. Ciprofloxacin interactions. Contraindicated with, dizanidine. Reduced absorption by, drugs and mineral supplements with multivalent cations, CA, MG, AL, FE, polymeric phosphate binders, sevilimer, sucralfate or ontacids, heavily buffered drugs, didanosine, containing MG, CA or AL. Dairy and mineral enriched beverages administer 1 to 2 hours before or at least 4 hours after these products. Avoid with milk products or drinks enriched with minerals, for example milk, yogurt, orange juice enriched with CA. Plasma concentration increased by probenicid. Not recommended with methotrexate, zolpidem. Increases serum concentration of theophylline control concentration and adjust dosage, other xanthine derivatives, caffeine, pentoxifiline. Increase or decrease serum levels of, phenytoin, monitor. Powerful effect of, oral anticoagulants, warfarin. Monitor the International Normalized Index, INI. Monitor and adjust doses with, ropinirol, clozapine. False bacteriological analysis mycobacterium tuberculosis, 